Before the First World War, S. Ansky led several historic and well-financed ethnographic expeditions into the small towns of Russia, and his efforts and adventures made the collecting of Jewish folklore seem both exciting and urgent. We must collect these folklore gems of our people before they disappear. That was the message that was being heard loud and clear as never before. When the YIVO Institute was founded in 1925 in Vilna, Lithuania, the section to collect folklore, the YIVO Ethnographic Commission, became its most active branch, and Zamlers, collectors from all over Eastern Europe, but especially Poland, sent in hundreds, then thousands of items that they had written down from older generations, from neighbors, from themselves. We are fortunate that many of those materials survived the Second World War, and we will refer to them later on. Needless to say, the Holocaust destroyed the heartland of Yiddish folklore, but important work continued in Israel and New York, and you would be surprised how much gets passed down from generation to generation. <laughs>